Okay, lecture 17. And you should know the uh, these terms. One here that we can talk about, hydrocarbon, is any uh, compound that contains just carbon and hydrogen. That's mostly what we're going to be naming here. That's what these organic compounds are. And they can also have something else uh, attached, but it's always going to have carbon and hydrogen, uh, which makes it a hydrocarbon. And if you add anything else like oxygen, it becomes a hydrocarbon derivative. So with carbon and hydrogen alone, you can create millions of different compounds, I mean, literally. And uh, you, uh, when you go to organic chemistry, you'll learn to uh, name a good portion of those. We're, we're just going to learn some basic ones here. Let's take a look. Formula for methane is CH4. And then the formula for ethane is C2H6. And the formula for propane is C3H8. Now let me draw out their structure. So you can see what we're doing is we're just adding carbons. And this is why organic compounds, why there's such a variety, is that carbon bonds to itself very strongly, and there's really no end to how many carbons you can put in a line. And of course, you can also branch them out. Um, the only limit to how many you can put together is how much time you have to react uh, carbon with itself. So we, we have three, the first three uh, hydrocarbons, the one carbon, two carbons, and three carbons. So you should know their formulas and names. Uh, the formula for blank is C2H2, and this is acetylene, also called ethyne, but this is by far and away the more common name, and it has a triple bond. It's very reactive, very, there's a lot of energy packed in there, and that's why they use them in the torches, acetylene torches, breaking that triple bond, adding oxygen across, produces a lot of heat. Formula for uh, benzene, c 6 H6, so we have, oh, and actually, uh, let me write out all the carbons. I'm getting a little head here. So we have this. You can see that, uh, and then there's hydrogens attached. Not sure if it's on the page. Let me just finish writing it here. And you can see that it uh, has a ring to it, a lot of double bonds. And um, so, and it's a very stable molecule. And then we have this, um, we have methane with an OH group on it, so it becomes methanol. It's one of the alcohols. And then this big guy here, there's an oxygen in the middle. And the way that you can also draw it is to show that bond between the, the, the carbons on either side to that oxygen. And this is called diethyl ether. And it's such a common ether. There's lots of ethers, but it's such a common ether that that's often when they talk about ether, like in a, a show about a, um, a medical show from a long time ago, like MASH or something like that, they talk about ether. Uh, that's the one they're talking about, diethyl ether.